Hello everyone out there in YouTube world. I hope you are all well out there in that world of ours. I just hope so you all are. Um, right, what this video is going to be about, and it happened to a couple of my dear martial art brothers yesterday. They were both disrespected, both of them were. And I won't mention any names. Um, I don't do that childish things of name dropping. I'm not into that. It's very childish. Um, and they were disrespected by a martial artist from overseas. And I won't even mention where that person comes from and who they are. I don't do, again, I don't do things like that. But I will just talk about what caused that person to be disrespectful to the both of them in particular. Right, um, let's start with how I'm feeling. Because I always do this at the, the start of my videos, as you all know by now. Um, and I've even started to learn not to say that particular word, you know. Because <laughs> I had a bit of a habit to say that. And I didn't even realise I was saying that word. Until when I looked back at my videos, I thought, gosh, I even counted how many times I was saying it. But anyway, <laughs> I will try not to use that word so many times in this video, if I can help it sometimes. Right, but yeah, how am I feeling? Getting back into my training properly now that the new year's starting now, it's probably been about, I'd say, come up to about two weeks, it's gotta be. And it's been every day, I've been doing my little bit of training. I've been doing like a bit of, my core work is my main thing and my flexibility work. And of course my meditating, which I haven't stopped doing. I've been doing it every night. Um, and I can do a video about that. That one yesterday morning. How very strange things was happening while I was meditating. But I'll do, I, I'll do a video about that actually, I will do. Because I can explain to you what I was going through and, you know, anyway. But yeah, I'm feeling, feeling... Been okay now that I got my training back, as I mentioned. Um, and I'm just looking forward to this year's UK martial arts show in the 6th and 7th of May. And Cynthia Rothrock is going to be there. And some of you who know Cynthia Rothrock and who don't know her, she was very famous in the 1980s in the Hong Kong movie industry. One of the first, I'm not saying she was the first, but she was one of the first. Uh, Western female action heroes because I know there was a certain actress actress recently saying that she was one of the first no and she's not even half the age of Cynthia Rothrock Cynthia Rothrock's probably old enough to be a mother but anyway I might even do a video about that we'll see um, but yes so I'm looking forward to that on the 6th and the 7th of May meeting Cynthia Rothrock and uh, I'll get loads of pictures taken of her and uh, she's looking forward to coming over to the UK. I do speak to her every now and again through social media and when people say, you speak to Cynthia Rothrock? I do occasionally. I know she's a busy woman. She's always going around the world filming videos of her, going to various countries and I know she's doing really well on her own YouTube channel. But yeah, I'll be looking forward to meeting her in person. And I, I've met some of my Iron martial arts people already. Benny Okides, Bill Sidfoot Wallace, Scott Adkins, to name a few. Mark Strange, um, Bob Sykes, Alfie Lewis, Paul Barnett, people like these are well known famous martial artists from around the world. And the, the other few names I've mentioned are from over the UK. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this year's UK Martial Arts show. It's going to be, I've got a feeling it's going to be a very special one. Very special one indeed. But anyway, yeah, getting back to the subject of the matter of this video. So anyway, um, I've got this friend of mine. Um, I'll mention his name, John Stevenson. And he's, the edit he's an editor. He produces martial art books and things like that for, for fellow martial artists from around the world. I mean, he's not long only started, he's only done what, a couple of books already, and he's already getting quite well known already through that, 
So I've got a lot of respect for that man. He's put me on the front cover of one of his martial art books called Martial Arts Legends. And I'm on the front cover doing, I'm doing like front splits, but in box splits version as well at the same time. So I'm putting the two together. And people said, wow, that look, you know. But anyway, he's put me on the front cover alongside with Mark Ballant. Um, he's a Taekwondo expert as well. These kicks are legendary, bless him. Um, but yeah, I'm on the front cover of that. So, another martial artist as well, who I befriended back in 2018 at the UK Martial Arts Illustrated Hall of Fame Awards. Um, I was very good, good friends with him to this, still to this day. He's also in the book with pictures of me. So anyway, um, my friend who I befriended in eight, like 2018, who I won't mention his name, he put up a post saying that he's in the book and I'm going to be in the day with him, which he knows. But he hasn't got his copy yet. He only puts up the Amazon um, picture, which he, I think he probably screenshots. And he put it up on his, on his profile, on his social media. I won't mention any names of social media at all, and I won't do that. Um, and he was getting a very good response to it. I put my bit up on there saying, well done, brilliant, you know, fantastic. And the editor, he, obviously, he made his comments. And then a few of the martial arts people from around the world who I'm also friends with and good friends with, really good friends with. And they were really pleased for him. And then this one person had put his comment up and said, not impressed. That's really bad. He disrespected that guy. And my friend who put the post up originally, he's trying to make it a name for himself, in not just in the martial arts world, but also in the action movie industry. And I'm supporting him. You know, I see, I see him as a brother. Not as a friend, I see him as a brother. In, because that's what we all are in the martial arts in particular. We're brothers and sisters because we all practice martial arts. We all do, all of us do. And that's how I see us as a big family. But yeah, he disrespected him. This other person who lives overseas. Disrespected both of them actually. Disrespected both of them. It's really bad when you do stuff like that. It's Whether he was joking around or not, the point of the matter is you do not say those things to people because it's disrespectful. Full stop, it is. Gosh. Why did... To me personally, I think that person might have been a bit jealous. I'm being honest. I could never be jealous or envious of anyone at all, never. If I see someone on any social media platform and I see they're doing good, I will make a comment to say, wow, brilliant, keep going on, keep moving forward. Because as I know myself, life is tough, man. It's the toughest thing out there, period. Nothing else comes close to it, nothing does. No matter how much money you've got, nothing comes close to it. But anyway, yeah. That's really bad. Because both my, my brothers, man, got disrespected. And it really, really did upset me. And I took it personally. I really did. Because I support them. I help them as well. Help promote them, their name as well. And they promote my name. So we do need both with each other. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't disrespect people. Never do those things. Because I can tell you now. And I always say this. When you say or do things against anyone. These people who do those things. They forget the power of karma. And how it really, really works. And I know how the power of karma works I have seen it and I have felt it because when you witness it and you see it because karma doesn't happen straight away it happens when you least expect it especially when you've wronged someone 
it doesn't. I keep telling these people, don't disrespect people, don't do anything bad or hurtful or physically or mentally harmful to one another. Don't help, love and support one another. This is how I was brought up. And I'm lucky really because I've had both my parents in my life. I know there's some people out there who just come up from a single parent family or even don't have their parents at all. It's, this is how tough life is, as I've already mentioned. Life is the toughest thing out there on this planet. And it always will be. But it's up to you to make good of your life. No matter what it throws at you. Because every day, life throws a challenge at it. Every single day. Even as I'm doing this video, I know for a fact I'm being challenged and I don't even realise I'm being challenged. That's how life is, <laughs> unexpectedly. But yes, oh gosh, to my two brothers who were disrespected by this other person, I'm always here for you guys, always here for you guys, no matter what. I will help and support you through what you go through. But anyway, yeah. I thought I'd do a video about that and how I felt. As you all know, I express my things and being honest and truthful about things. So, excuse me. I don't mask anything or I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. I'm being honest and truthful, pure and simple. I know there's people out there who sometimes don't like to hear things with the truthful. They don't. But again, like what I always said, this is life. And if you don't like it, get out of the kitchen, as they would say. It's as simple as that. Get out of the kitchen. That's another metaphorical way of saying things. But, but yes, um, don't disrespect people, especially when they're trying to make something good of their life. And don't think you're better than that person because I know for a fact that person probably thought by saying that they're better than them. The ego. <sighs> ego, oh my gosh. One of the worst things that man has created. Ego. Just think about it. You're not born with these things. People are taught by other people about these things. This is why I am the way I am. My parents have brought me up the right way to have respect for other people. And I'll always will do. But yes, I thought I'd do a video about that. Please always show respect and support to others. Even if they're struggling, show them even more. Respect and support. Encourage them even more. Even though if you're struggling yourself, because you struggle every day, and some people might not even think or see or feel that they are, but you are struggling. From the second you wake up in the morning, the struggle is always there. Even when you sleep through the night, the body's still struggling. Whether you don't, even if you don't know, the body's still struggling, even when you're sleeping. So that's another way of saying, that's another least expected thing in your life, which you're unaware of. But anyway, please have respect for others, show love and support. I'll never stop being that person who I am. Because that's what the world needs is love, man. And I'll keep sharing that love for you all out there. Because I love you like, you know, I really, really do love you. And again, for those of you new to my channel, who haven't subscribed as yet, again, it's entirely up to you. There's no pressure at all. If you want to do the subscription, by all means do it, it's up to you. But if you do, hit that notification bell when I'm uploading my videos, you know straight away that I've uploaded one. Uh, like, share and comment to any of my videos which are out there on my, on my channel. And uh, yeah, even share my channel itself to people out there. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just being myself. Um, some of the things which I experienced, I will share with you. And 
again, I never name drop. Not properly, no, I don't. I'm not. The naysayers. Oh, the yes men. Oh my gosh. But anyway, it's what life's all about. Life's not perfect and it never will be perfect. But just make it the best life you've got for you. And always remember that. Thank you very much. And again, my big love to you all. Stay safe out there in that world of ours, everybody. And to all my martial arts brothers and sisters from around the world, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.